In case you haven't noticed, I got the Wrangler back. Yay! That was weird. All right, well, before I get things started, I need to make sure. Yeah, that, that was, you know, expected to happen. So remember the other day when I said, I think I fixed the Jeep? Well, turns out I didn't. Um, the soldering kind of didn't really fix the connection problem. And so I took the whole pin apart and everything where it connects to the PCM and my dad bent it inward and kind of soldered the cap a bit to see if it would stay firm. But the plastic around it is so warped that I wasn't sure if it would hold it in place. And I'm not even entirely convinced that that's the problem. It seems to be the problem, but it could just be a problem. And like on top of that, it could also be, um, the actual ECMs having problems or it could just be the connection but it's really hard to tell because it's so random um but <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna lie I actually expected to start today because we bent the pin and everything but I mean... yeah that pin right there where all the meltic is melted around that's the problem or at least that's what we think the problem is, but it looks like it completely came undone. We had that completely closed because it's supposed to look like this, but it looks like that. So it might not be getting a proper connection, which is just causing the whole Jeep not to start. <laughs> This is not at all how I expect you to spend my day. <laughs> Jeep's over there. You're gonna have to stay over there too. <laughs> Don't get hit by it. Or transport. Anyway, so Jeep's over there and it will not start. Thought I fixed the pin problem, but now I'm wondering if I should just rewire the whole connection and put in a whole new ECM. Other than that, I'm gonna try to maybe fix the ECM and just get a new connection because the connection is definitely a problem so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to get a new plug rewire it and everything I'm either just gonna buy the plug and then try to repair the ECM or just replace the whole thing but for now my mom's dropping my brother off at work so I can either sit there for 20 minutes or I can try to penny board myself back home got my coffee though I forgot, penny boarding downtown is fine, but this is ridiculous. It's not even flat ground, it's slanted. And it's for like two miles going this way. And it doesn't end until I get to my house. Well, that was fun. Um, got my coffee now. My custom mug. I got some Pop-Tarts. Oh, my coffee's bomb. Oh well. I guess what's all for today. Peace out. Except not really. But honestly, I had plans for today, but those plans were assuming that the Jeep Wrangler was running and it's not again. I've tried everything. I've done, I mean, I tried the soldering. That pin is just bad and even if I put the, a good pin in it, it's just not, it's, I would have to take the thing apart again, which is really difficult. And then even if I put a new pin in it, there's no metal there to retain it. So I really don't know what to do. I was thinking that if I just get a new plug for it, it'll fix the problem, but I really don't know if that's the case. It might actually need a whole new computer. Like the pin might be a problem, but if I need to replace the computer, then I'm gonna have to find a way to get a PCM and like everything's hectic right now. 
I mean, we're still in quarantine. There's still this whole pandemic going on. And supposedly there's this plan to get everyone back in working. But if I start working, I'll be making money again, of course, but I'll also will lose the time to focus on doing this. And that's actually why I'm doing these videos now again, because this is what I want to do. And pandemic or no pandemic, this was the plan from the beginning to make these videos and make this content. And right now, you know, with everything going on, it's making it difficult to continue this project and stuff. So that's why I created my whole little website, um, my whole little like product line where I make these little like coffee mugs and stuff with pictures on it. Speaking of which, I have some new pictures coming up soon, so that should be cool. So right now, um, I'm trying to get all this stuff going and having this computer that I just purchased really helped, but the same problem stays. I need parts for the Jeep and I need equipment and I need gear. I need all these things. It's not necessarily the money I need right now. Money is just a means to an end. And right now it's not necessarily that I want money. I just need the money so I can get these things I need so I can start doing what I want to do. I'm, right now money isn't my problem. It's actually getting the things I need, which made me realize I should just be mentioning that. Some of the things I need, some people might just have laying around and I mean, I have junk laying around and I don't even need it. And if anyone needed it, I would just be like, hey, I have this laying around. And that's one of the really cool things too about the Jeep community is we're always helping each other out. Like I have parts right now that I accidentally bought that I don't even need. And if someone else needed them, like I would sell it to them for dirt cheap because I mean, it was a mistake I made and I don't, it doesn't mean anything to me, but if someone else needed it, and then I would just be like, hey, here you go, 10 bucks or whatever. I don't, I don't care. You know, it's so I say all that to say this. I need some stuff and I kind of need help right now because I'm held up with this whole thing I need. I have goals. I have plans for the Jeep, but I'm having trouble. Even if I had the money, I'm having trouble finding some of these things and finding ways I, I can do this. So right now, the situation with the Jeep I don't know if I need a new computer, but I definitely need a new plug. Another thing I need though is the front drive shaft. And I haven't decided if I want to buy one brand new or not yet. It kind of depends on the budget. I'm having trouble finding out which one I want specifically. I know it needs to be about, I think 38 by 39 inches roughly. Um, after that, I need the linkage for the transfer case. I accidentally got an AX5 linkage for the transfer case, so it's too short. And so it's been kind of a hassle trying to find the right linkage because they don't fit and I can't find one that does fit. So even if I had a front drive shaft, I still want to have four wheel drive. After I get all those together though, I really want to do a full down CJ7 tailgate. And I've mentioned that before and I can purchase the kit online, but I still need the tailgate. And it's really hard to find a decent CJ7 tailgate. I'm just trying to find like if someone just has a CJ7 tailgate laying around that's in decent condition, it's not, you know, rusted through or anything and I can sit on it without it breaking. I just need to get one so I can do that conversion. These are just things I need. And then after I get all that done, I still need just a couple more things. And this is my biggest holdup right now. I want to do this thing. I want to go on this adventure and I want to make these videos for you, but I need the tools to do that. And if on a channel where everything's gonna revolve around the Jeep, I'm gonna need supplies. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get sponsors until I actually have something to show them. Cause right now, you know, all I can show them is a broken Jeep that needs parts and I can't actually show them what I'm doing that will benefit them and benefit me. And so I really don't know what to do from here. The reason I stopped making the videos in the first place is cause I was gonna focus on working on the Jeep. But as time went on, I haven't gotten the money to be able to get the parts to even work on the Jeep. So I end up just loafing around, not knowing what to do, not knowing how to progress. And it's kind of a problem for me. I have all these plans, things I want to do, but I'm not gonna be able to do it alone. I'm gonna need help from other people. And so far I've already had a lot of people who have helped me. I mentioned that in my video about the Wrangler. I've already gotten so much help and it's actually really cool to see the community I have, even if it's a small one. But if you guys, if you can, you know, do anything to help, you know, no matter what it is, even just seeing comments down below is such an encouragement. If there's any kind of, you know, way that you think you could help, I'd appreciate it, whatever it might be. It's not, it's not always just about the money. And like I said, it's not the money. If you have maybe, 
something that you think I could use or something that you think will help me that you don't need. Or even, like I said, just a comment down below. Um, it's so useful. Another thing that would really help me is if you actually think, if you actually like my products, I'm going to be uploading some new images soon. But if you look down below, I'm selling t-shirts, coffee mugs, and stickers. If you go buy any of that gear, it really helps me a lot. I get a little bit of money for each item you purchase. I actually just cashed out at about $40, I think, from selling a couple things. And that was extremely awesome. Anytime you guys buy any of those things, it really helps me out. And yeah, so whatever you guys can do, I really appreciate it. I don't want to sit here and ask you to do anything for me. I don't think I'm obligated to anything. And I'm trying to do all of this on my own. And it's really hard for me to do all this when I'm, you know, unemployed and not making any money. And I can't even make these videos. So, I mean, even any suggestions, maybe a way I can make some side cash or something. I really don't know. But I'm kind of just at a stuck point right now and thought I'd make this video because... I miss making the content and I want to be able to keep making content, but I'm trying to do that with a Jeep that doesn't even run and with parts I can't even put on. So I can't even, I can't do anything. I'm, I'm literally stuck. So yeah, I mean like, I hope that one day I'll have a drone and I can get these amazing drone shots. I hope that I'll have more gear to be able to create more cinematic videos and other things. I could almost start the road trip now if I only had a few more things. If I could just get the Jeep to be in running condition, if I could just fix the door panel, if there's like so many little things that if I could fix, I could actually start this journey even now because I mean, I have nothing better to do, but I can't do that if the Jeep's not running. And that's the biggest thing right now is just trying to get it um, in a living situation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please like, comment, and subscribe. If there's anything you can do, I'd really appreciate it. I'm hoping to start a little bit. I'm hoping to start making more videos this week. I'm not really sure about what. Maybe I'll just give some tips or whatever. Maybe I'll work on the Jeep a little. But I feel like I haven't accomplished anything in the last few weeks and I really miss making these videos. So that's why I'm gonna start making them again. Um, I have a computer that is a lot faster. It makes it a lot easier to edit on and yeah, I'm, I mean, I miss making these videos and I want to start making them again. So hopefully you'll see a lot more of me. I might have a new video out by tomorrow. Who knows? I've been working on some old videos that I hadn't finished. And, oh, I did almost forget to mention though, I got a hardtop for the Jeep. That's really exciting. CJ7 hardtop. It's exactly what I've been wanting. It's a little rough around the edges. It could use some cleaning or whatever, but it's actually in better condition, I think, than the one I had on it before. CJ7 so I can actually get the fold out tailgate and it'll work perfectly. So really excited about that. Um, yeah, that's all. Just really excited. That's, that's a big step. I really needed that hard time. If you want to